were going to talk about parts of the instrument again, but this time we're going to do like a study video. Now, when you take this quiz, because we're going to have a quiz online about this, um, you need to realize that it's going to be timed, so you can't just skip back to the video and write every single one down. I thought of that, right? I'm a teacher. Um, so, uh, nice try. Um, but yeah, so we're going we're gonna to have a time quiz, so you need to know these, because if you don't, then uh, you, you won't be able to do well on your quiz so make sure you know these um yeah normally in class what we do is you have to get you have to get 100 on this before you can start playing your instrument but obviously we're not going to do that this year because i can't stop you so anyway <laughs> good good for you um but you do need to make sure you're getting a good grade on this or i will ask you to retake it all right here we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to point at the part of the instrument. I want you, I'm going to give you about three seconds to answer, and then I'm going to tell you what it is after. So it's going to help you study. A way, something that might be good is if you have your instrument, to have your instrument in front of you, and you can actually, you don't even have to watch this video. You can go through and point to the parts and tell yourself what they are. Some people find that really helpful. It's more tactile. It's more hands-on. So that might be good. All right, here we go. This thing right here is what I'm pointing to. It's like the thing you unwind. Scroll. This thing right here is what I'm pointing to. You stick it in the side, it turns, but you don't want to turn it. Starts with a P. Pegs. Actually, first all four of these. This thing right here that the pegs are going into, like the thing you get from Amazon. Peg box. Very good. These things. Make the sound. Strings. This thing right here, the strings go over it. It's a little itty bitty tiny piece of wood, very hard to see. Like the thing the squirrel picks up off the ground to eat. Nut. Very good. S uh, singular, N U T. Coming down here, and this little black part is where you put your fingers. Fingerboard, very good. Okay, these things right here are like these you have on your body. Shoulders, very good. This thing right here comes up out of the shoulder just like it does on you. It's called the neck, very good. All right, this thing, um, let's see, we got that. This thing right here is like the thing that goes over water. Over something you don't you don't want to step on step in. Actually, I think the strings are kind of more form this. What's it called? The bridge. Very good. Okay, these things right here are shaped like the letter F, and it's a hole in the top of your instrument. F hole. Very good. These things right here are also shaped like a letter, and they're on the side of your instrument. So they're shaped like a C. What's it all about? C bout. Very good. Okay, inside of the F hole, you see that little post there. The post transfers the sound from the outside back of the instrument out. It's called the sound post. Very good. Okay, this thing right here is like the thing that your dog wags when it's happy. Tail, that's right. What's the other word? It's like just a little piece, tail piece. I don't know how to get you to say piece. Never figure it out. These things right here make small adjustments or fine adjustments to the tuning. What are those called? Fine tuners, very good. Okay, this thing right here, you put your chin or jaw actually on. It rests on there. What is this called? Chin rest, very good. All right, uh, we got tail piece, the bottom here, this is like those things and some you wear on some shirts that keep the shirt closed, and it's on not the beginning but the end. It's called the end thing from the shirt. Button. Very good. All right. I think we got almost everything. This thing right here. Usually I ask the class what I forget, and they tell me, but I can't do that. This thing right here goes on your shoulder, and it rests there. It's called. It actually comes off as well. Uh, we'll talk about how to put it on. It's called the shoulder rest. Very good. All right. Be careful when you're putting this on. If you're going to try to put it on, don't pull it. You can break this. We need to talk about it. I recommend that you watch our video about putting it on first because it can't be broken. So 
you're not careful. All right, there's one more thing. This is black line. I forgot about this one before. Okay, so if you didn't watch this video, you missed this. So hopefully you got, you're watching this video. This little black line around the edge is actually not carved in there. It's like a little line, uh, or it is carved in there. I'm sorry, it's carved in there. It's not painted on there. It's a little piece of wood they put in there to keep the cracks from going all the way to the side. Uh, this has a kind of a funny way that I remember it. I think of like cats go purr, and you never want to fling your cat. It's a purr fling. All right, of course, you never want to think. That's the only way I could think of to remember it. Purr, never fling your cat. Fling, purr fling. So there's the violin and viola. Let's talk about the cello. It's really only one here. This thing right here, it's on the end. Notice there's no shoulder rest. Cello and bass don't have those because that would be, I'm sorry, there's no chin rest. Cello and bass don't have those because that would be really hard to hold those like a, like a violin and viola. All right, this is the beginning. This is the end. So therefore, this is called the end. And like the thing you poke somebody with, don't poke anybody with these though. Pen, the end pen, all right? End pen. Very good. So there's the parts in cello, bass, and violin, and viola. Remember, don't ever touch the pegs. Here is the bow. All right, this bow is actually a little broken at the beginning, at the tip, because I didn't just do that. Somebody else did that. But this part right here is like that thing you walk along and pick up off the ground. It is called, like, pick off the ground, fall from a tree. Stick. Very good. This part right here. This is the bottom. This is the tippy tippy top. Tip top tip tip. It's the tip. This is the tip. That's what that's called. This right here is made from a horse's tail. It's horse hair, but you're just gonna say hair. Don't ever grab this. Don't grab it. Don't grab it. You'll ruin it after a while. To hear some your hands will get on it, ruin it. That's a horse hair. I mean it. That's why I keep saying it. This thing right here. It goes around and around and around and around and around and around. You think like you're like you're winding something. It's the winding. And it makes more sense. Some of these actually have a piece of wire that's wound around there. This one, unfortunately, does not. This right here, and most of them don't anymore. This thing right here is like the little amphibian that jumps around. What's that called? Frog. Very good. This thing right here, you turn right and left to tighten and loosen the bow. Always make sure your bow is loosened before you put it away. That is called the screw. Very good. So that's your, the idea was behind that, that is that you were kind of getting those down after I was saying them. All right. So we're going to have another video that goes a little bit faster, and I'm not going to give you any hints. I'm just going to go straight through. Good job. Remember, you have a limited amount of time to do your quiz.